for a little bit of a day hike today with my grandkids, or at least two of them. We're in the Rocky Mountain National Park, out on just a little out, outdoor adventure. Not really even that much of a day hike. We're up here in Hidden Valley, which is where they have the Junior Ranger program. We tried to uh, drive the ridge trail, got up above tree line, and then there was a, I guess uh, there's they got a restoration project going on, and using pilot cars and supposed to be a 20 minute delay but an hour and a half later we were still waiting and so we decided to turn around and come back down and have our picnic down here anyway beautiful day today 72 degrees low humidity and we're about 9,400 feet so that's what 3,000 feet above the highest point on the AT so if you hear me uh, breathing a little bit hard this old Florida flatland boys not quite adjusted to the altitude yet out here but uh, but he will oh my what a beautiful day what a beautiful beautiful park really makes me want to hike the CDT even more really enjoyed watching Dixie with uh, the homemade wonderlust when she walked it this last year. It really makes me want to walk it. Anyway, just want to share some beauty with you. Well, it's a little bit windy. I hope you can hear this. I've been struggling with uh, footwear for my hikes. Um, I really love the Loas, little GTXs. My feet do the best with those. And, uh, but you know, sometimes in the summertime, it's just a little too much. I'm like, I can't wear them in the Narrows next week when I, when I do that, uh, that hike, because we're in water 80% of the time. That would not make sense to, to do that. So uh, many of you know from in 17, I went ahead and for about four days, ran the uh, Los Sportiva Wildcats and uh, fell a bunch of times. I kind of blamed it on my Achilles tendon injury that I didn't know I had, it was, I thought I'd sprained my ankle or maybe worse. Eventually I got off the truck so I thought I had a stress fracture. It felt a lot. I was watching Tim Watson's channel and he mentioned how for him the Los Sportivas seemed to be much more slippery. So um, I got back, wore those Los Sportivas in civilian life for a while. and. Uh, Anyway, the, uh, because I'd torn that um, hamstring and my gait had been off, I kind of wore those out funny until I had gotten physical therapy in January of 18 and corrected that gait issue. But then those, those particular shoes, I couldn't use them anymore because they, they were now worn funny and would hurt. So got another pair. Did pretty good with those. Uh, warm on a hike with Jesse on the Florida Trail. They seem to be doing okay. But, you know, sand and everything, so you don't have to worry about slippery rocks and those kind of things. I uh, decided I would uh, try a Erdy Razor's favorite, which was the, the Constant Velocity. Oh, you found a rattlesnake? Yeah. Oh, you just scared the living daylights out of me, you know that? So, I got a, con a pair of Constant Velocity 2s, really comfortable, M much better than the than the uh, Ultras. You know, the 3.5s didn't work for me. I tried the 4.0s, did initial uh, review on them, and uh, boy, you know, I went out on a little bit of a hike with my wife. You saw that, but uh, they just, they really promoted um, plantar fasciitis for me. I just can't do the zero drop shoes and the ultras are just not going to be my shoe so bought them from rei they took them back picked myself up a second pair of oboes the uh, sawtooths these are the twos sawtooth twos i've tried a, a other pair of sawtooths they were the size is a little bit too big for me end up giving them to my son when i'm trying another pair and i will probably use these on the trail in the narrows the 
The, the wildcats may be better in the water, perhaps, but once again, they're slippery and a lot of the uh, tread has worn off of them because I've been using them pretty much as a daily shoe and a, just for everything I do. So they're, they're kind of worn. Uh, and I was doing some research and there's a few places where you could do some, some wet boulder scrambles. And so with my knee recently injured and fixed and my Achilles tendon torn and recently repaired with stem cell therapy, I think I'm going to go ahead and just use these oboes uh, in the water. They should be okay. They should drain. They might be a little bit heavy, but I think they'll give me the, the grip and the support that I'm going to need. And I will let you know in the end if it was overkill or if I think the lighter trail running shoe may have uh, been a better option for me. But uh, these seem to be doing pretty good. We're about, about oh, I don't know, a mile and a half into a hike. Could have about two miles on them. Bought them yesterday. So we'll see how they do. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this little hike with my grandkids. And uh, these are my daughter's children. And they seem to be having fun. They are, uh, they're homeschooled, so today is a, is a back to nature day here. And I'm doing a little, uh, little nature rehearsing and plants and fauna and alpine lore and all sorts of fun stuff today. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. And always, you look back behind you because sometimes that's where the best views are. In this particular case, I guess this is technically looking back since we're heading back. Maybe I should uh, summarize my ramblings. The Loa GTXs, the Renegades are my favorite go-to boot for for hiking. The Wildcats are a second. The La Sportiva Wildcats. Uh, the Ultras, I'm out. They're not even in my wheelhouse anymore. Just can't do them. Can't do the zero draw especially having had a, an Achilles injury. And the sawtooths are uh, gonna be an experiment here. We'll see if they replace the, the wildcats in this quest for finding the right shoe for the right hike at the right time. All right, everybody. With this, I'll probably call it an end to the video.